This has to be one of the strangest forms of taxation ever enforced by a government. In 1698, the Russian Tsar Peter the Great began taxing beards. In Russian culture, a beard was a symbol of the orthodox view of manhood and would be considered a sin to shave it off. And for this reason, it caused controversy and many to have a tough time adjusting to this new law. The origin of Peter's distaste towards beards began after his grand tour of Western Europe. During this tour, he explored all of the Enlightenment ideals that had been sweeping across Europe, which later made him come to the conclusion that Russia was very behind Europe in various aspects. The trip had inspired him to begin modernizing Russia into a more European-esque country, and when Peter returned to Russia, he was welcomed to a reception thrown in his honor which many high-level government officials had attended. It was at this reception when Peter pulled out a massive barber's razor and began shaving people's beards. The guests and the shave victims were horrified by Peter's actions, but no one dared to question his reasoning. The clean cut was a fashion staple that had been widespread in Europe at this time. In order to complete Peter's vision of a more European nation, he imposed the beard tax to all Russian men, with the exception of priests, who had to pay up to a hundred rubles annually if you wished to keep your beard. And at this time, this was considered to be a small fortune. This tax had mostly affected the upper classes of Russian society, as peasants were allowed to maintain their beards in their villages, but were forced to shave them if they decided to enter a city. The most surprising thing about the beard tax is that it was enforced for 74 years, when it was completely abolished in 1772. I would love to go more in depth about this time period in Russian history, but I feel as if it should have its own episode. The beard tax was pretty strange, but there were definitely some other cultural changes Peter the Great brought to Russia that could be on the same level of oddity. So if you were living in this time period, would you abide by the beard tax? Or just let your facial hair grow out into a long flowing beard? Let me know down in the comments, I would love to know what you guys think. And thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next chapter.